Hello everyone, my name is Tiffany B. Chanel and I'd like to welcome you to Garden of Dreams Summer Scenes presented by Delta Airlines. So what you will need is a blank piece of paper, your watercolors, make sure you have some q-tips, we will be painting with q-tips, a cup of water. I am using a jar as my stencil in order to have a circle you can use anything that you have in the house such as a bowl or anything round as long as it is smaller than the width of this paper make sure you have a ruler a pencil and the color pencils you will need if you are doing the NYX picture you need orange and blue if you are doing the Rangers picture you are going to need red and blue and for the buildings, we'll be using a black color pencil. To outline, we will be using a black marker. That is about it. If you have all your materials, you are ready to begin. So, to begin, I'm picking up my big old stencil and I'm putting it in the center of my paper towards the top of the paper. Make sure that there's a little bit of room at the top. When you find the center, take your time and trace your stencil. Make sure that you go all the way around so that it closes and you have a complete circle. Once you are done, you are going to get your ruler and we are going to start working on the buildings at the bottom. Now, in order to make the buildings, I am going to start with the edge of my paper I am going to draw a line short coming across and I am going to close it coming down. The width of the buildings is up to you. Just make sure that your lines are straight and you take your time. The buildings should be different lengths. Some should be high, some should be low. Take your time. You're just drawing rectangles across your page. Match your ruler up to the edges to make sure that your lines are straight and you should be fine. If you want to make a double building, you will come across and instead of closing it, make sure that you go up, making this building taller than the rest, come across and close. This is my last building here, and that is it. After you finish drawing your rectangles, you will now go on to create windows. Windows are just squares. You do not have to use your ruler for this, but if you would like to, by all means, go ahead. Make squares going straight down. In this rectangle, I'm just doing one row of squares. But in this one, I'm going to do two. So mix it up however you please. Take your time, make sure you have a nice row of squares. They do not have to be perfect.
and do the same thing all the way across. In the big bills, I'm gonna start on the side and start my two rows from here and then complete the rest when I'm done. Now I'm gonna move over here and I'm just gonna add one row of bigger windows. Again, it's up to you. If you wanna add two more rows here, you can, however you wanna do it. Okay, my windows are now complete. That was very tedious, so shake your hands out. Take a break. The next step will be doing the drips at the bottom of this circle. So you're starting at the edge of the circle. You are slowly coming down. And when you get to the bottom, make a curve and come back up and when you come up it's still a curve and you go back down so some drips are going to be longer some are going to be shorter it depends on the length of your building you may want some of the drips to go in between your buildings or to hit the top of the buildings it's up to you but it's the same movement from the left to right. You're going up and down and making curves. Take your time. That curve is a little crooked, but that's sometimes what drips do, so it's okay. All of them don't have to be straight up and down. This is my last one. Once you finish the last one, you curve the bottom and you go right back up into the circle. So we have our circle, we have our drips, we have our buildings. We are going to start to use our color pencils. I am going to start with the NYX picture. So if you're doing a NYX like me, start with the blue. If you're doing the rangers, still start with the blue. Find the center of your circle and put a line so that you know where the middle is. Now that you have that line, from the left to this line, we are gonna shade everything in blue. Take your time and make sure that you stay inside the lines.
if you see any white spots make sure you color it all in a nice deep blue so now that this side is complete I'm going to pick up my orange and complete the other half of the drips if you are doing the Rangers picture you will be picking up your red and coloring the other half red Now that this is complete, we are gonna apply the same colors that are coming from the drips into the building. So we are pretending that the drips are leaking down onto our buildings. I'm gonna pick up my blue again, and I am going to color, even though the buildings are black, I'm going to add hints of the drips into each building. So, I'm going to shade across the top just a little bit. And then when you get to the side, come down very small. And you can come up and down however you would like. But just add a hint of the color into the buildings and do not color inside the windows. Try your best to go around the, the windows. So we're doing this to each building only until you meet that halfway mark. Stay in the lines and again you're just adding a hint of the color to each building now you can add a little bit more than me you can add just as much as me it's up to you Now, even though the orange strips on this building, I'm still gonna color this one blue, and I'm gonna do the last three orange. If you want, you can do half blue, half orange. I'm just gonna keep mine simple and blue. And I think the most important part is just staying in the lines to make sure that everything is neat. You can see your buildings clearly and that you take your time and have fun. Now I'm going to pick up my orange again. I'm using orange because I am doing the next pictures right now. 
But if you were doing a ranger picture, make sure you pick up your red. This one is gonna be a little funny. We still do it the same way. I'm still doing just the top of the building with the color over here. And I'm gonna do this whole part on this one orange. Last building. Shading the top. Making sure I'm not going through the windows. Coming down on the side. Okay, now the rest of the buildings are black. So everything else, have fun, shading the rest of that building black. Again, take your time, try your best not to go in the windows. And it's okay if you feel like the windows are slightly disappearing. We are going to outline them with black marker so that they can stand out more. Again, don't feel like you have to rush. Take your time. Shade lightly. It doesn't have to be deep black.
last building. All right, so now my last building is done. So looking at it, it kind of looks like the windows may have disappeared, even though I know you can see your windows. Anybody else looking might think that the windows did disappear a little, little bit because it's in pencil. So that's why we're gonna take our time and outline. We're gonna use our black marker and bring everything back to life. So outlining just means that you're tracing over whatever you did in pencil. I'm going to start with the buildings first before the windows and outline all the lines that I did. You don't really need a ruler for this because you're just tracing the lines that you already did perfect. Now that my buildings are traced, I'm going to trace my windows. And as you can see, slowly your picture is coming to life. The windows are popping out, the buildings are popping out. All right, all of my windows are done, my buildings are done. Next, I will be tracing the drips. We want these drips to look really, really nice and to pop. 
And the only way to do that is to outline them with the black. Next step is to outline your circle. Take your time. Okay, everything is outlined. If you are doing a next picture, you should have blue and orange. If you are doing the ranges, you should have blue and red. Now I'm going to move forward with how the next basketball should look. And after I do the next basketball, then I will move on to the rangers. So anybody who is doing a next, pay attention. We are going to start by closing our marker and picking up our pencil, finding the middle of this circle, and you are going to do a slight curve. Nothing too extreme, just a slight curve. After you do this curve, you find the center of the top and you make another curve. And just like a basketball, you curve at the bottom and you go up into the line. So you curve at the top, come under, and you curve straight into the edge of this basketball. In the center, marker center, you are just going to curve from one end to the other end. Now, what you did up here, we're going to do at the bottom, but we're going to do it upside down. So, make a mark at the bottom, and you're going to curve down, and you kind of curve under going into the edge of the basketball. Once you did that, this is your basketball. Remember, everything we do in pencil, we outline in marker. Take your time and outline. Now, if you want it to be really, really neat, you go back and erase any marks you did in pencil to make sure that we only see the marker outline. Once it's nice and clean, we are going to fill up our space with dots. This section right here, we're gonna keep open for a message. Everything else will be dots. You start with your Q-tip, you put it in the water, and you rub it into the color you're gonna start with. I'm starting with blue. Once you see that the color is on the Q-tip, you then apply it onto the paper and you just take your time and do dots and space them out. And when the color becomes light, go back into the water, rub it. This is watercolor, so you have to kind of bring it alive. The only way that it could be brought to life is with water. Take your time, 
add your dots. And if you feel like some are too light, then go back over them. Every time you come back, add a little bit more water and add your dots. I'm skipping this one and I'm coming down to this one here. And I'm going all the way across, just adding dots with my Q-tip. Now I'm going to go on the other side and start from the bottom and add my dots here. I'm going to skip this one. This is going to be orange, so I'm going to come here and add my dots in this space. Take your time, have fun with it. And that's how it should look. You can turn your Q-tips to the other side and then move on to the next color. And the next color is orange. Remember, bring the color to life. Add your dots. One at the bottom, we're still adding dots. Do you see this basketball coming to life? Now, we completed the whole basketball and we have this space here. So put the Q-tip down. And in my space, I'm going to put home of the Knicks. But in your space, you could write your favorite basketball player's number that's on the Knicks team. You can write whatever your favorite number is. You can write your nickname. You can write what neighborhood you're from. Anything that you want. But in mine, I'm going to write home of the Knicks. And I'm going to write this with my color pencil. If you think you may mess up, I advise that you write it in pencil first and then maybe trace over it with your color pencil or a marker if you want to use markers. And the next picture is complete. So this is the, my picture. You can go further. You have all of this white space in the background. This basketball could be floating in the sky. You can add clouds. You can add a sun. You can add birds flying, planes flying. Whatever you want, it's your picture. Make it your own. Personalize it. I can't wait to see what you do with your picture. We are going to move on now to the Rangers picture. Now we're going to move on to the Rangers. You have your circle, you have your blue and your red, and we are focusing on making a puck. So you're going to take your ruler, place it in the center, find your center. When you find your center, draw a short little line at the top, short little line at the bottom, 
and you're gonna draw a circle. Take your time. It does not have to be perfect. You can find an object in your house to create this small circle, or you could just take your time creating a half circle on one end and a half circle on the other end. I'm just trying to make mine a little bit more perfect. But when you feel like you have it, erase what does not belong so it can look like a perfect circle. Now you know anything that you do in pencil, you outline with marker. erase the lines that do not belong. Okay, the center is going to be left for a message. The sides are going to have the dots. One side is going to be blue. The other side is going to be red. Take your Q-tip, place it in the water and bring this color back to life by rubbing the Q-tip in the color. Take your time, start on the edge, and create your dots. Back in the water, mix, mix, mix. Take your time. Now that my blue is done, I'm gonna flip it and now go to the red. Bring this color to life, mix it up and start on the edge. One thing I like about the Q-tip, it makes perfect circles. So you don't have to do much. Now we have our hockey puck. The center, you will have a message. Now my message is going to say home of the Rangers. Yours can say your name. Yours can say home of something else. Yours can be a nickname. Yours could be your favorite ranger. It's up to you. But I'm going to use this blue and be careful when writing that your hand does not um, rest in these dots because they're not dry yet. So you might want to wait until it's dry before you make your write your message. I'm going to begin with the blue writing home. of the switch into the red so rangers the center of rangers is the letter g so i'm going to start with my g and write the end of the word first and go back and write the beginning of the word so home of the rangers mine could have been a little bit more even i hope yours is a little bit more even Remember, start with pencil, map it out first, and then erase and write everything in color. But here is the complete picture of 
the Knicks and the Rangers. I cannot wait to see what you do with your pictures. Like I said, this is a white background. Do what you like, design it, add the sun, add the clouds, add whatever you like, add some chimneys, add some smoke coming out of the buildings. Be creative and I can't wait to see what you do.